The elephant in the room, what a lot of Western climate diplomats tell me is that leaders like yourself also carry a responsibility. Why are vulnerable countries still so debt stricken? Why is there still corruption? What is your response to that? You really want me to answer you? I do. Okay. Why is it that every time we talk about countries from the south, the first allegation is corruption? Last time I checked, in the USA and the UK and Europe, they're riddled with corruption, but nobody says that they're not capable of achieving their objectives because of corruption. Why is it that we're not talking about the fact that these countries became independent, having allowed those countries that colonized them to extract significant portions of their wealth, such that we had no proper housing, no proper education, no proper health care systems, no proper legal systems, no proper go across the whole street, and certainly nothing to do with building social capital like community development and cultural enterprises. And what has happened is therefore that we have spent the time since independence trying to give our people what the global north has taken for granted and has supported by the extrication of centuries of wealth to give their people out of our blood, sweat and tears. Now when our blood, sweat and tears finances the industrial revolution and the industrial revolution then causes the climate crisis and then I have to pay for the consequences of the climate crisis because of the industrial revolution financed by our blood, sweat and tears, then I think they have no moral authority to tell me anything about the financing of the climate or about why we don't have enough. Is it anger over this that fuels your energy? Anger? Absolutely not. Unfairness, lack of justice, they're not angry. I'm just disappointed that humankind still wants to believe that there's one world for set of people and another